You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa issued Decree 64 for 2018 reforming the Board of Trustees of the University of Bahrain. The new board will be chaired by the Education Minister and with the membership of the Minister of Finance and National Economy, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, President of the Civil Services Bureau, UOB President, Chief Executive of the Urban Planning and Development Authority, the Education Ministry Undersecretary for Resources and Services, the Assistant Undersecretary for Assessment and Accreditation at the Higher Education Council Secretary General, Sheikha Tulfa bint Muhammad Al Khalifa and Dr. Mansour Muhammad Sarhan. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to Sudanese President Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir, marking his country's independence anniversary. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, marking his 50 years of service to his country. His Majesty praised His Highness's efforts and achievements in serving the UAE as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty hailed His Highness's visions and directives in achieving progress in the UAE, which are transforming the UAE into an international economic center in which it helped the country achieve sustainable development and enhance its status on the international level. His Majesty also praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in achieving tremendous developments through various projects and initiatives. His Majesty then wished His Highness abundant health and happiness and for the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the advent of the new year 2019. His Majesty the King wished the leaders and their people abundant health and happiness and continued development and prosperity for their countries, expressing hope that the new year will be one of peace and prosperity for all world countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Sudanese President Omar Hassan Al Bashir on his country's Independence Day. He wished President Al Bashir abundant health and happiness and the Sudanese people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness sent similar cables to Sudan's first Vice President General Bakri Hassan Saleh and second Vice President Hasabu Mohammed Abdul Rahman. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes on the advent of the new year 2019 with the leaders, prime ministers and crown princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries in which he expressed congratulations and wishes of further development and growth for their countries and abundant health and happiness for their people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Sudanese President Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir on his country's Independence Day. He wished President Al Bashir abundant health and happiness and the Sudanese people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness sent similar congratulatory cables to Sudan's First Vice President General Bakri Hassan Saleh and Second Vice President Hassan Mohammed Abdurrahman. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes on the advent of the new year 2019 with the leaders and Crown Princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries in which he expressed congratulations and wishes of further progress and prosperity for their countries and abundant health and happiness for their people, wishing it to be a year of peace and security for all world countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Libya Palace. After the meeting, Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser gave the following statement. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain on the advent of the new year 2019, wishing further progress, security and stability to the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people. The cabinet decided to exempt 1,400 government services from value-added tax and and to approve the memoranda submitted by the Minister of Finance and National Economy. The Cabinet also decided to reduce the fees of hotel services from 10 to 5 percent to stimulate the tourism and development sector and adopted the memorandum submitted for this purpose by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, urging the Ministry to intensify the inspection campaigns to monitor markets and protect consumers and deal with all offenders. The Cabinet reviewed the progress of the six initiatives of the Financial Balancing Program 2019-2022 since its launch last October the 4th, which aims to achieve the fiscal balance between government expenditure and revenues by 2022. The Council noted the positive and encouraging initial results achieved in light of the performance indicators and the commitment of the Arab Monetary Fund that reflect the effectiveness of the procedures. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum presented by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Financial Balance, praising the efforts that have resulted in the achievements of such positive results.
An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to study the construction conditions of old schools in Bahrain, which amount to 67, and in light of the presentation of the joint memorandum submitted by the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, the Cabinet instructed the two ministries to take the required measures for urgent evacuation of schools and buildings whose construction condition is not in accordance with the quality of services and facilities that support the educational process provided by the government. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution that bans the importation of plastic waste through land, sea or air borders of the kingdom for any purpose. The cabinet discussed the government draft laws remaining at the legislative authority and decided to uphold a number of draft laws according to the recommendations submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The cabinet approved permitting companies with foreign heads to conduct business activities as part of the second stage project of El Dur Station and in accordance with the Commercial Companies Law 21 of 2001. The cabinet also approved increasing the beneficiaries of events and activities provided by the Ministry of Youth and Sports to include all age groups from age 0 to 35 instead of limiting them to 15 to 29 age group as is the current case. The Cabinet referred to the Ministry Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs a memorandum of understanding between the National Health Regulatory Authority in Bahrain and the Saudi Food and Drug Authority. The Cabinet referred to the Representative Council two draft laws prepared in light of two proposals submitted by the Representative Council. The first draft law amends Article 46 of the Civil Sector Work Law and the second draft law issues the protection of persons with disabilities law. His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today unveiled a new generation of Bahrain's identity card in the presence of the Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the, Inter of the Information and E-Government Authority Mohammed Ali Al Qaid. During the unveiling, His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to further improving government services provided to its citizens and residents by incorporating the latest technological advancements and standards in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the importance of continuing with the development and modernization of all processes within the government as well as of increasing the use of technology in national initiatives and projects. For his part, the Minister of Interior expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness's continuous support and pointed out that the introduction of the new generation of identity cards with advanced technical features marks a milestone in the modernization strategy implemented by the Ministry of Interior. The Minister stressed that significant security and data protection characteristics were incorporated into the card's design in order to prevent inappropriate use. He concluded by adding that other special features, including for people with special needs, safe travel and fast track in international airports were also added. His Majesty, the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, marking his 50 years of service to his country. His Highness affirmed that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum was able to develop the UAE's march. He lauded the pivotal role he has been playing since assuming his responsibilities 50 years ago and his achievements which turned UAE into one of the most most advanced countries in various fields, including economy and tourism. His Highness expressed wishes of good health and happiness for the ruler of Dubai and the UAE further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Rashid Zayani, affirmed that the Ministry will continue working according to the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the application mechanism of the value added tax law, which will go into effect tomorrow to ensure the citizens' needs for basic goods and services are protected. The Minister stressed that there is or there will not be any leniency with violators of the VAT law and that penalties will be applied instantaneously and decisively in accordance with the Kingdom's laws. He said that the Ministry will conduct inspections alongside the Consumer Protection. Directorate on a daily basis across all commercial buildings in all areas of the country. The inspections will ensure that the VAT will not apply to exempted or unregistered commodities as a protection measure for the interests of the consumer. As Zayani added that awareness raising programs will be ongoing in coordination with other relevant public and private parties to ensure that the VAT is applied in accordance with the law. The National Bureau for Gulf Taxation has dedicated a hotline for consumers and for the commercial sector to answer any queries or address any violations and complaints. Companies and institutions may register on the National Bureau for Gulf Taxation's website in order to meet the relevant laws and regulations. 
The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Zayani, stressed the importance of the program of the first Deputy Premier for National Development in developing the capabilities of Bahraini youth to promote national progress. Zayani, who met today with the affiliates of the fourth batch of the first Deputy Prime Minister Fellowship Program, praised the continuous attention paid by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and first Deputy Premier, to invest in the human element, which is the basis of all development efforts in Bahrain. He said that the program is one of the vital programs that the government employees are keen to engage in to develop their skills that help them enhance their expertise and give them in different sectors. He discussed the role played by the ministry in strengthening the organizational and legislative structure of the commercial, industrial and tourism sectors that play a pivotal role in the national economy, including Sijilat, announced by His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince at the government forum 2018, in addition to other initiatives aimed at developing the small and medium enterprises through the Development Council, which was established upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He also pointed to the ministry's efforts to keep pace with all changes at the industrial, commercial and investment levels. The Kingdom of Bahrain devoted its efforts during the past four years to fulfill its commitment as they are listed in its action plan 2015-2018 based on its national responsibilities in achieving the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King for the advancement of the Kingdom and to continue its achievements in various development fields. The government work march is based on a number of pillars to ensure the construction process is achieving sustainable development goals by providing high-quality services and keeping up with the developments in the field through implementing comprehensive projects. Bahraini citizens are the basis for the construction and development operation. As a result, citizens' needs are the priority of the Government Action Plan, which is affirmed by the directives of His Royal Highness and the Prime Minister and his keenness on fulfilling them through field visits in the Kingdom's four governorates. In implementation of these directives and to eliminate shortcomings in villages and cities, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning visited many areas in all governorates under the supervision of the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure. The visits aim to involve citizens in drafting the plans of required government service projects. The ministry has fulfilled tens of requests submitted by village and city residents that included the development of infrastructure, facilities and services. Also, a number of service buildings, parks, sidewalks and roads were reconstructed, green areas were cultivated and irrigation network systems were developed. The completed projects also included the development of cleaning services according to the area's needs. In addition, waste disposals were increased and the routes and timings of garbage trucks rounds were determined. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning have implemented many modern projects in record time in implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The Ministry continues implementing the remaining projects according to a timetable and the Government Action Plan. A team of three Bahraini students returned back victorious after they won the second place at the Huawei Information and Communication Technology Middle East Skills Competition held in Shenzhen, China, showcasing the Bahraini pool of high-quality ICT-talented youth. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Out of 14,748 students across the Middle East who applied for the competition, from which 4,915 were selected to take part in the preliminary rounds, 214 students passed on to the final round and 39 in total from 13 teams travelled to China to compete internationally. Our winners, a team of three students from the University of Bahrain, Bahrain Polytechnic and AMA International University, 
University were selected following a grueling three months of qualifying rounds that saw participation from 10 countries in the Middle East. They announced that they wanted talents from different universities from all around the world to join this competition. And in order for you to qualify and go to compete internationally, you need to go through hard exams and uh, skills exam that test your practical knowledge and your theoretical knowledge. So the top three students from Bahrain, they will represent a team that will go and compete in China in the regional final, which includes Middle East countries. So Bahrain team, uh, one of the most important characteristics of Bahrain team is the quality, the consistency, the disciplines of the Bahraini team and the teamwork skills because this competition not only needs uh, hard technical engineering skills but also needs soft skills. It needs time management, communication skills and leadership skills. All participants underwent highly selective examinations at the national level. Participants worked in real laboratories and tackled some of the industry's most complex challenges related to cloud computing, switching, routing, and other key ICT solutions and technologies related to digital transformation. The finalists competed in day-long finals, participated in a technology workshop by global ICT experts and witnessed a high-level panel discussion by senior delegates from the Middle East countries to China. After winning such a competition with my team, we obtained such a confidence that uh, will allow us to represent Bahrain in many competitions in the future. Not only did the Bahraini team win the second prize, but they also won the Excellent Academy Award for the University of Bahrain, along with the Excellent Tutor Award for Ala al-Din al-Umari, also from the University of Bahrain. They've shown the world the quality of talented Bahrainis that have the potential to mature into world-class experts. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar.